Hello, welcome to another fly time video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this new gizmo from Stoneforge, this turbo spinner. This is a device made for uh, making dubbing brushes. Um, it's uh, ball bearings that makes this uh, little tool spin very good. It has a bit weight on it, so it can uh, spin the dubbing thread. Uh, now it's a copper wire, so uh, to make uh, the dubbing brush you have to place some material on the top of the dubbing table here. Uh, today I'm using another table, but uh, this is a device made for uh, use with the Stoneforce dubbing table that uh, I made a video on earlier. So just uh, look on this video and you see how this table is uh, used. So, uh, what I've been doing uh, before I started the video, I just uh, attached a copper wire to this and uh, I spin it so I close the loop. I place the one uh, attached to the bobbin over this dubbing table and had a loose end ne next to me. I placed this uh, material on the top of the copper wire. <coughs> And if I wanted, I could place some, <coughs> sorry, place uh, some flash on the top of the material here. Uh, I don't want to do this now because this is just for a video, just for uh, using how to, just to show how to use this tool. <coughs> sorry. Okay. Now I placed uh, the material on the copper wire, and I take the remaining piece of wire over this one keep it closed with my fingers and spin this little beauty here you see just lift it up a little okay remove this table and I find my stoneful bobbing needle just have to pick some material out okay you can also use for this purpose an old toothbrush that will also do the trick okay but I have misplaced my old toothbrush so I use my dubbing needle instead. Or you can also use this kind of tool. It's a kind of dubbing tool from uh, Stoneflow with this uh, Velcro on this side and a comb on the other side. You can use the Velcro to comb out some fibers. You have to change hand because I'm right handed. Okay, you see how it just make a beautiful dubbing brush. You can also spin it more properly. If you use your dubbing needle to pick out some fibers, remember just to, don't point this uh, downwards because it will get out of this uh, hook here. Keep it horizontally when you do this. Just pick out some fibers. You see, I could, I think I could use, place some more material in this dubbing brush, but um, I think it's, I, I think I showed you how, how to make this. This uh, the nice about this tool is you can place it in any any jaws or any vices, so you can make dubbing brushes uh, uh, almost everywhere. Just have some old copper wire. Uh, I found this on an old uh, electro motor from a, I think it was from an uh, old TV. 
I think the diameter on the wire, I think I use, uh, think it's 0.15 millimeters or so, something like that. Uh, it's a very cheap material. You can also buy it in at, at the vendors, of course, but uh, why don't just try to find something for yourself also. You can also use this comb on this one. And the nice about the dubbing brushes is that you have um, you can spin almost anything in this uh, dubbing brush. You can use uh, for small limbs you can use uh, smaller, thinner dubbing brushes for uh, any kind of flies. Um, you can use uh, large fibers, you can use uh, craft fur, you can use uh, EP fibers, uh, whatever. Uh, and this little tool here makes it all happen. So uh, I'm gonna uh, replace my camera now and uh, show you some uh, close-ups on this uh, tool. So uh, just have to change a little bit. Wait. Hello and welcome to part two of this video. Uh, in the first part, I made a dubbing brush uh, using a couple of wire and some uh, uh, EP fibers and uh, and a little uh, dubbing uh, table. Uh, dubbing brush table from another wonder. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's Tomfo, but uh, just for the ease of it. Uh, now I placed a um, turbo spinner in the jaws, and you can have a little close up on it. You see, uh, it's a contents of a, a hook to attach the copper wire in it. Uh, the way I attach the copper wire is just like this. Make it a trip or two round and just close the loop like that. Now it's close and I just place one end over the table and the other end to hold. Uh, make uh, sure this uh, end is uh, the same length. Okay. And the rest you saw in the first part, but uh, uh, this uh, turbo spinner is a uh, ball beard. Uh, it have uh, a lot of. Uh, it makes it spin very smoothly. Um, you have also this uh, rubber O-rings here to make a good grip with the fingers. You see, it spins into f forever and ever. It's very nice. Um, I think uh, my copper wire is uh, just in the upper scale for uh, making double brushes with this uh, tool because uh, because of the weight of this. And um, if you have too thick copper wire, it won't spin as good as it would with a thinner copper wire. So about uh, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, I think it would be the most, uh, most the best, uh, the best uh, diameter on the copper wire. Uh, this, uh, I would recommend this uh, tool because. Uh, Dubbing brushes is a very, very nice type of making flies. Here is the one I made just for the, just for the video. I made uh, several others I have made uh, with a lot of colors. You can mix colors, you can add flash, you can make it thinner for small limbs. You have the uh, weight in the copper thread. You don't have to uh, lead uh, the hooks or anything. So um, this is a very good uh, type of my, uh, making flies. I use it uh, very much for my saltwater flies for sea trout and uh, sea bass and so forth. So I think that's what's all for now. So uh, looking forward to hear uh, your comments. Uh, make a comment on this uh, YouTube video and uh, Send me an email. Bye.